Thanks, Mark. Thanks for the opportunity. I just want to give a little preface. I, we have a video that explains the Ministry of Biblical Eldership Resource. We've been working for about three or four years to try to, in a sense, plug a hole, a bottleneck in when it comes to training in, in the church, and that is training of existing elders and potential elders. Not everybody has the opportunity or the means to take a year out of their life to move somewhere and uproot their family. And so what we've developed is online um, distance learning in a sense. It's modular, it's, it's a curriculum that is all in 15 minute chunks. And it's also available in, in video, audio, and in, in the text form with questions, uh, interaction uh, assignments, and that sort of thing. It's, it's modular, it can be used in, in a, uh, an elders group. Uh, first half hour of an elders meeting can spend time using this. Uh, it could be done in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring, it could be in a small group, it could be training men. It can even be used for women, uh, training other women for shepherding women. So it's a tremendous thing. We're excited. It's available anywhere in the world for free. And we're also putting it, uh, our latest project is to put it uh, completely on a hard drive for those areas where internet is flaky. So this is just a six minute video. And if you want any more information, we've got a table with some brochures out there. So start the video. Welcome to the Ministry of Biblical Eldership Resources. Our mission, to promote and encourage the practice of biblical eldership and to build up elders in the church worldwide. Why spend so much time on this one issue when there are so many needs in reaching the world for Christ? Leadership is a critical issue in the church. It affects everything else. Christian leaders universally recognize the need for leadership training and passing the baton to the next generation. For example, in his book Spiritual Leadership, J. Oswald Sanders addressed the need for a certain type of leadership, a spiritual leadership and not just an organizational one. Howard Hendricks taught and emphasized leadership for 50 years at Dallas Seminary. This subject has become so important at the seminary level that they have established the Howard G. Hendricks Center for Christian Leadership and Cultural Engagement. Bill Hybels, a well-recognized writer and speaker on the subject of leadership, has identified this as one of the most critical areas to address today. The local church, he says, is the most leadership-intensive organization in the world. There are an increasing number of books being published on the subject, and conferences abound. Yet the reality is, there continues to be widespread leadership burnout. The Francis Schaeffer Institute of Church Leadership Development reports that 35 to 40 percent of those entering church ministry leave after only five years. Other research shows that 60 to 80 percent will no longer be found in ministry after 10 years. Recent studies have shown that 1,500 pastors per month are leaving church ministry permanently in North America. That's 1,500 per month! In churches where plurality of elders is embraced, many elders are burning out because of competing time commitments, lack of training, and an inadequate understanding of spiritual leadership. The result is that many people are left feeling unshepherded, uncared for, and unequipped for God's service. On the mission field, leadership is problematic as well. Phil Barnes, executive director of MSC Canada, says that leadership succession is one of the most critical needs on the mission field. There needs to be another way of doing shepherding, both on the mission field and in the local church. That way is a return to the biblical practice of church leadership by elders, or to put it another way, biblical eldership. What is biblical eldership? We believe that church government in the 21st century across all cultures should be modeled after New Testament teaching and practice. We believe from a study of Scripture the pattern of leadership called elders was first of all pastoral, not a board position. It was also shared. New Testament eldership involves a plurality of elders who share the pastoral function. We believe, for biblical reasons, that elders should be men. Scripture lays out very specific character qualifications. They are to be men of the highest Christian character. Elder leadership is servant leadership. Elders are like player coaches, modeling the Christian lifestyle as they shepherd God's people with servant hearts. Not only do we believe that this is the scriptural model for pastoral leadership in the church, we believe that this is the best model for sustaining the growth and proliferation of churches around the world. So what is our strategy? How do we attempt to affect the church worldwide?
Our objectives are to provide scripturally-based teaching that promotes a plurality of biblically qualified men to serve as shepherds of the local church, to provide assistance to churches transitioning from other forms of church government, to develop quality elder training programs and materials that are internet-based and accessible worldwide, free of cost. On the left, we see a Mongolian nomad relaxing in his tent watching a video on his mobile phone while his daughter looks over his shoulder. On the right, Kyrgyzstan shepherds use their cell phones to take and look at pictures. The world is becoming increasingly digital and interconnected. Another goal is to connect networks of elders in regional areas for mutual instruction, edification, and mentoring. We will deliver both simulcast and in-person conferences for geographical areas around the world. Finally, we offer in-person consultation through email, Skype, or phone. It's a big job. Let's take a look at the core team responsible for making this happen. The BER core team functions as a council of elders, emulating the principles espoused in this ministry. We provide guidance and oversight for the worldwide expansion of the BER ministry. Kevin Fitzgerald, a former missionary to South America, is presently a full-time elder in St. Louis, Missouri. Bob Deffenbaugh is a longtime Bible teacher and elder in Dallas, Texas. He's also a principal contributor to the influential website Bible.org. Alex Straw, author of many books including Biblical Eldership, is a speaker and longtime elder in the Littleton, Colorado area. V.G. Roberts is a former corporate trainer and current board member of MSC Canada and an elder in Mississauga, Ontario. Chuck Giannotti is the founder and editor of Elder Shop Notes. He's an author and longtime elder living in Rochester, New York. Collectively, these men represent over 100 years in shepherding God's people and writing and teaching on the subject. We're also developing regional teams, groups of individuals in various geographical areas who join in the challenge of expanding the ministry of BER. Their task is to develop a strategy for promoting biblical eldership and building up elders in their areas. Biblical Eldership is a faith mission and looks to the Lord for financial support. Currently, a number of foundations have granted us seed money that we are using for technical and website development, project initiatives, and helping with general tangible needs of the ministry. The core members are all supported like missionaries through the financial support from God's people. Check out our webpage, the hub of our resources. Thanks for watching this video. Please pray that the Lord will use this ministry for the building up of His church worldwide.